my name is Falcon and you are watching Bailey's Concepts. So this is the part 2 of uh, the reproduction in uh, gymnosperm. So in this part we are going to discuss about the, what, what are the changes after the formation of microspore and the megaspore, right? Microspore and megaspore on for the de uh, germination, uh, basically they forms male and female gametophyte, okay? So male gametophyte contains pollen grains as well as female gametophyte contains uh, archegonia, okay? So there is a fusion between the pollen grains and archegonia occur, right? So before going further, let us discuss some basics about that, okay? Before uh, discussing about the fertilizer, we need to understand these basics, okay? So this is a male and female gametophyte which uh, which has arisen from the microspore and the megaspore that has no that are not autotrophic. Okay, they depend on a spore of existing sporophyte for the food and nutrition. Okay, so these microspore move uh, by the wind. They move by the wind current. So basically, this is the part of the reproduction that is that is what we gotta discuss very briefly. Okay, let us quickly understand about the uh, development of a female gametophyte. Okay, so the development of a female gametophyte is monosporic. Monosporic in the sense uh, here after uh, after uh, division of an uh, diploid zygote, there is a formation of four haploid cells. Out of four haploid cells, three will be degenerated and uh, one will be functional that is the reason why it is called as a uh, monosporic development okay uh, in a female gametophyte you can find uh, uh, one or many archegonia okay the gametophytic cells which surrounds the archegonia will act as a uh, jacket layer jacket layer in the better way the, ja the function of a jacket layer is uh, to provide the nutrition as well as uh, to provide uh, some some sort of uh, protection to the archegonia okay so after these many things, we're going to discuss about the uh, some development of a male gametophyte. Okay, so in the in the development of a male gametophyte, uh, you will find uh, pretty much thing. There is no such uh, complications in that. So basically, a male gametophyte uh, contains uh, anthridia as female gametophyte contains archegonia in the same way it contains anthridia. Okay, so anthridia produces uh, pollen grains. So pollen grains uh, on germination produces pollen tube. Okay, those pollen tube contains male gametes, okay, flagellated male gametes. In some species you will find two uh, flagella, in some species you can find multi-flagellated, okay, biflagellated, multi-flagellated as we are saying it is, okay. So, those particular uh, uh, sperms, okay, those particular sperms will fuse uh, with the egg, okay one sperm will fuse with one egg so anyways if we'll uh, discuss something about the life cycle of any species of a gymnosperm in that time uh, i'm gonna go very deeply about uh, what actually the function of a neck canal cell what is the function of a neck cell everything okay so uh, to, uh, for now we're gonna understand that uh, after fusion there is a formation of an uh, diploid zygote occurs okay once the diploid zygote is formed it ends the gametophytic phase. So from now, the sporophytic, new sporophytic uh, generation will start. So now we're gonna discuss about the sporophytic generation. Okay, uh, so once the zygote is formed, then it uh, starts the gametophytic generation. After the uh, zygote formation, uh, uh, it will develop into the embryo. So this process of developing the embryo from the zygote is called embryogeny, okay. so. After once the zygote is formed, there occur then it then occurs a meiosis. Okay, after meiosis, there is formation of four haploid cells. Out of four haploid cells, as we have uh, discussed earlier, that uh, the development is monosporic, right? So here uh, the three will de degenerate and one particular haploid cell will be functional. Uh, this one particular haploid cell uh, on uh, which is followed. Um, by the mitosis, uh, okay, which forms the number of uh, free nuclear division occurs, which forms the number of uh, nuclei, nuclei, which are haploid in nature. Okay, so, so after after once the new uh, division of the nuclei occur, okay, or uh, we can say after the mitosis occurs, which is also called as free nuclear divisions. Okay, so now the particular uh, nuclei will surround which uh, will grab some uh, cytoplasm okay and surrounds and becomes a cellular okay this nucleus now will become cellular okay after 
wall formation once wall is formed it will become cellular okay now these nuclear this cellular uh, organization will differentiated into suspension shoot apex cotyledon and hypocotyl radical these are the components of a embryo once the embryo is mature okay so now once the embryo is mature the mature embryo will uh, form root stem and leaves okay so this was all about the part 2 of uh, the reproduction in the gymnosperms uh, thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed my channel so please uh, go and subscribe uh, hit that red color subscribe button and uh, hit that bell icon as well whenever i upload videos you will be notified uh, with uh, with it, um, many more biology concepts okay good night